Hello and welcome back. Now let's continue the journey of inheritance. In this video, we will understand about inherited methods, overridden methods and specialized methods. These are very crucial before we proceed ahead. As you can see, we have uh, two classes here. One is a human class, one is a employee class. Right now, there is no link, there is no relationship between these two classes. These are unrelated classes. We can establish the relationship here, easier relationship, which is inheritance, as we have seen earlier. I can just say here, extends, extends human. The moment I say extends human, whatever properties and behavior we have here, that will get inherited, except the private members and constructor about which we have seen in the previous video. Now, I have created the instance of employee, which is our child class. And after creating the instance of employee, I'll say emp dot, we can see I'm able to invoke dot, I'll say here, let me just go back here, dot sleep. If I'm able to invoke sleep method, I have not hard coded any sleep method here. If I'm able to invoke using the reference of employee object, it is a proof that this sleep method is getting inherited in the employee. Inheritance is happening here. That means sleep method got inherited in the employee class. Great. I would like to just uh, run this uh, no, example. I'll say here, right click, run as the Java application. If I have to execute this, we are getting the output here. Human must sleep at least seven hours. Whatever you know implementation we have given here, it need not to be just this. It could be any implementation in that matter. Now, such methods which got inherited in the child class from the parent class, from a different class. And in the child class, you're not modifying it. You're not overriding it. Whatever body, whatever behavior parent class has given, you're going to use that as it is. You're not overriding that. You're not modifying again. You're not giving the body for that once again. Such methods are called as inherited methods. Now, you can see using the reference of employee object, I'm invoking sleep method. I have not coded here, but sleep method is there behind the scene, which got inherited from the human. And whatever got inherited from the human in the child class, it is there behind the scene. You're not rewriting. That means you're not overriding it. You are using the parent behavior as it is. After inheriting in the child class, you're not modifying. You're using the body of the parent class as it is. It's called as inherited methods. Now, maybe I'll just go back here. I'll add one more method. I'll say here, maybe it. Okay, whatever, you know, I'll say system dot implementation could be anything one line, 10 line, 100 lines that doesn't matter here. I'll say here, human, it's a lot. Okay, simply any implementation in that matter. All right. Now, the moment you have told extends human, this method also got inherited here. Great. And if you want, you can invoke this emp dot eat. You can see here, if I have to run this, uh, particular method or particular program, you can see we are getting this also human leads, you know, it's a lot. That means parent behavior. So this class is reusing the parent class behavior as it is. So sleep method, eat method inside the employee class are treated as inherited methods. If you're not overriding, if you are using the parent behavior as it is. But do you have a right to override? Yes, we have a right to override. There are some rules to override about that. Uh, maybe we will discuss going forward. Now, I'll say here, employ, eats a lot and sleep during office hour. All right, I'll say here, office hour. Great, I would like to save this. Now, same method I'm rewriting here. That means you're overriding. Now, if you invoke the eat method, you will not get the same output. You will get the overridden output. I'll just go and run this program. You can see employee eats a lot and sleeps during the office hour. You're getting that output. That means whatever body was there here that got inherited. But after inheriting, you're not happy. The requirement of the child class is different. Do you have a right to override that method? The answer is yes, you can override that method. And this is overridden method, all right? Overriding method. That means after inheriting, you are given your own implementation. If you are rewriting that method again in the child class, now whatever body you have given here, whatever behavior you have given here, that will be executed, you know, executed 
and this is called as overriding method so inherited method such methods which will get inherited from the parent to child and in the child class you are not modifying it whatever body parent gave you want to use the same body example sleep method are you rewriting inside the employee no whatever body parent gave you are happy with it that means that is considered as inherited method such methods which got inherited from the parent in the child but after inheriting you are modifying it you are overriding this you are giving your own implementation in the child class such methods are called as overriding method now such methods i'll say here maybe i would like to you no know, just write one more method here system dot out dot println i would like to just here employ walks a lot around the office campus or whatever you want to give all right i would like to save do we have any vox method in the human no we don't have we have that in the employee and employee and human there is a easy relationship parent child relationship such methods which are there only in the child class right now which is a parent which is a child human is a parent employee is a child such methods which are there only in the child class and are not there in the parent class are not present in the parent class are called as specialized method vox method you don't see here you can see only in the child class which is employee and such methods we call it as the specialized method let me just invoke that method here and if i have to just execute this program you can see i'm getting that output also what i'm trying to say inherited methods which got inherited from the parent to child and in the child you are not modifying that body whatever parent gave the implementation in the child you want to keep it as it is you no want to overwrite that is inherited method such methods which got inherited from the parent to the child and in the child class you have modified to suit the requirement maybe child class had its own implementation you have re implemented that modified that given your own implementation overriding method such methods which are there only in the child class which are not there in the parent class are called as the specialized method i hope now if you have listened with the focus you understood what is the difference between you know inherited overriding and the specialized method make sure to connect me on my linkedin and please do follow me on the instagram as well thank you so much let's meet again in the next video